Hello everyone, this is Corey. I'm going to do a demo on how to use the MetaTrader 4 mobile platform. So I have my phone open. You're watching a screenshot of my phone. And you can see here the first thing we're going to start with is the accounts. We're going to go to manage accounts and you're going to add in whatever account you have set up. So your whatever broker you're with, they would have sent you some information. And you can go log into an existing account and you're gonna find your broker. And in the email they sent you, they're gonna give you exactly what server you should use. And so I use VantageFX, you can look through their servers use the one that was given to you in the email because if you don't use the correct server you may not be able to connect and that's going to be your first step once you do that then you're going to punch in your login name and password and once you do that click go sign in this isn't going to let me sign in of course because I haven't put anything there uh, if you want to just open a demo account, you can also just pick a broker, put in some information, and you'll be able to open a demo account that way. Is it going to let me get into that little corner? Then the next thing we can look at doing is going to your quotes charts. We'll go through each one of these. Uh, economic calendar is just going to give you the events that are coming out for the day. News is going to give you updated news feeds on whatever's happening during the day in various Forex pairs. Mailbox isn't very important. Uh, you might get some mail from your broker or something in there. Uh, settings you might want to look at. We'll go through how I have mine set up. You may want to change yours a little bit. History is going to show you what your balance is. So this is just a demo account. I decided to put 10,000 demo dollars in there. So that's all that's happened in there. So the history is just uh, what has happened. We'll do a trade. Let's go to our charts. And you can change your time frame right here. So you can go to an hour daily. And that's how you can adjust that. You can switch the currency pair by clicking on this. Now this list is just gonna have a few preloaded in it. You can uh, add to it by going to your quotes and you can add in different currency pairs that you want. So if you want the EuroCAD in there and the EuroNAS, you can add those in. And now those will show up on your list then if you go back to your charts you should have now a few more options there you have the euro cad you can pull that one up if you want to add indicators that little f symbol is where you can find indicators there's not a ton on the mobile trading platform but likely more than you need. I do not actually trade on the mobile. It's more for just checking how trades are doing. I do all my analysis actually on the computer. If you want a crosshair to see what different prices were at different times, just hit that button. This is your market execution. So if you want to make a trade here, maybe let's drop down to like a one minute chart or something. And we're at the top of a little range. Let's say we just wanted to sell. We're going to go market execution. Here's where you'd put your stop loss. So let's say we wanted to put it at 1.56. And we want to put our target at 1.55. I'm just making these numbers up. And here's where you put in how much you actually want to trade. So if you just want to play it, trade um, uh, 
one micro lot, that's what you'd put in. If you wanted to trade a mini lot, 0 0.1 is a There, so that'd be a standard lot. That'd be ten dollars a pip. And we just want to do a micro lot. That's what we do. And let's say we want to sell market. So now that trade is open. Shows me as offside twenty cents. Now, remember, you can go to your quote, see how the price is doing. You can go to your chart, see how the price is doing. If you want to see how your actual trade is doing, you go to the trade tab and you'll be able to see all your open trades there. Now, if you want to make an adjustment to this, I'll show you what I did there. You can slide this over on a trade and we're going to click the edit. And let's say, oh, that's uh, way too high of a stop loss. I want to move it to. 155.70, so about 17 pips above uh, the current bid price, 15 pips above the current offer price. And we're going to hit modify. Now, and we want to maybe adjust our target price 155, let's go 30. And again, I'm just making these up as I go. So this is going to show you how much margin you're using, uh, whether your trades are up or down. So you can see I'm down 20 cents on that trade right now. History, nothing's going to show up in the history yet because I don't have any closed trades. So what are we going to do here? Close with a 12 cent loss. Okay, let's close it. So now my trades show nothing because there's nothing in there, no trades ongoing right now, but my balance has changed. And if we go to history, I now have a trade there. So I lost seven cents on that trade, um, including commissions or whatever, down 13 cents. And that is pretty much how you would trade. You can pull up, as I mentioned, you can go into your quotes, put in any currency pairs that you want to be able to see. Then you can go to your charts, look at them on whatever time frame you trade on. Then you can decide if you want to trade from there or alternatively and go to trade, hit this button, order, or you can hit that button. You can change the currency pair within here. You can change the order type. So if you wanted to buy limits, so you wanted to buy the price uh, below where it's trading at right now. Let's say it's trading at it's trading the bid price is 155.51. Let's say you wanted to buy at if it goes down to 155 even or let's say 155.50 three pips away you could set your stop loss in there maybe 155.40 set your target price 155.70 expiration good till cancelled And let's see if that order gets placed. So that order is placed and it's just sitting there. You can see it's got a little green thing beside it. And if you want to, you can change that or if you want to see the chart of it, you can go there as well. And if you want to cancel or delete it, you can just hold down and you'll be given the option to modify order, delete order, or see a chart. Let's say we want to delete it, then you would just delete it. So that is basically the simple functions of everything that you can do on the MetaTrader 4 app. Uh, you have the EuroCAD. Uh, now that trade that we just canceled is going to show up in your history. 
news, no news. I think I have my settings uh, blocking news because uh, I don't really use it a lot. And that's how you use it. So fairly simple to lose, fairly straightforward. I don't trade off this, as I mentioned. Not a lot of indicators. And also I just find it hard to see the big picture on here, zooming in and out. So I prefer to do my analysis on my desktop when I got my big charts. And then the only time I use this is if I need to check my trades quickly or I want to get an update on how they're doing, this is what I'll use. And to do that, you can just go into your trade tab and see how everything's doing. So I hope that helps you out. And in the meantime, happy trading.